We have a big update in today's forecast regarding Amelda and Umberto, which are about to do something very rare just off the coast of Florida. Additionally, we have a big heat wave that'll be coming to the United States later this week that'll skyrocket the temperatures for millions. And lastly, we'll be keeping an eye on a potential tropical system that could develop in the northern Gulf as we go into this weekend. And we'll talk more about what that actually means. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven days and we're going to jump right into what's happening in the tropics right now that has been the big topic of discussion for the last few days right now just off the coast of florida is tropical storm amelda which is forecasted to become a hurricane later today you might think this doesn't really look like anything more than just some convection and really it does not look like much there's a lot of dry air that is currently surrounding amelda so it is actually struggling to intensify but as we go later into today and as umberto continues to lift to the north we should start to see amelda begin to strengthen now on the other hand we have its partner but they're basically in a relationship at this point we got Amelda off to the west and then just to the east of Amelda that is Umberto these two are flirting they are very close to each other right now and Umberto is going to continue to lift to the north over the next 24 hours and then eventually it'll turn out to sea notice how close it is to Bermuda right now some of the outer outflow of Umberto is actually reaching Bermuda right now I do want to point out as well with Amelda a lot of the outflow from Amelda has actually gone as far north as Ohio Ohio, New York, and even up into New England. We've even had some rainfall across the Carolinas over the last couple of days as well from Amelda. So if you've been seeing a lot of cloud cover, you can actually blame Amelda. That is across almost the entire East Coast right now. But let's talk more about what Amelda and Umberto are going to be doing over the next few days. This is our spaghetti models. Gives you an idea of where all different sorts of models are going to be tracking both Amelda and Umberto. And right now is about the closest point that both Amelda and Umberto are going to be to each other before they basically break up. As Umberto is going to be speeding off to the north and northeast over the next few days away from Imelda. Imelda will be kind of left alone out here in the far western Atlantic Ocean over the next couple of days as it continues to track to the east. The unfortunate news, though, is that we are likely going to see Imelda cause impacts in Bermuda as we go into Thursday. So we have a potential late Wednesday and into early Thursday that Imelda will be close enough to Bermuda where we could actually see hurricane force winds and on top of that, storm surge and even the potential for flooding rainfall. So if you're over in Bermuda or have interest in Bermuda during the middle of the week, there are going to be some problems around that time period, assuming Imelda doesn't do any sort of other crazy turns. As that is happening, Umberto will continue to turn out to sea. And once again, Umberto and Imelda are going to maybe come back together as we go closer to Thursday. They might date again. And then eventually, as we go into late Thursday into Friday, that is where a lot of confusion basically will set in, where Imelda could do several different things, one of which it could just kind of race off to the northeast and then go out to the, towards the northern Atlantic Ocean. There is a low chance as well that it could try to turn back down to the south and kind of circulate down here. And if this scenario were to unfold, I do not think it would be coming back towards the United States. There's not really any favorable upper level patterns that actually indicate that. There's one out of dozens of ensemble members that actually bring this towards the Carolinas. But even then, this is a pretty weak tropical system anyways. So again, not really concerned about anything for the United States out of Imelda or Umberto. But something very rare is about to happen with both Umberto and Imelda because over the the next couple of days these low pressure systems are going to be so close together that we are almost going to see them combine into one this is called the Fujiwara effect the last time that we had something like this was actually with Helene which was last year we end up having two low pressure systems one over the Ohio Valley and one in the Gulf and they both merged into one and that created a catastrophic flooding event now we could have seen something like that over the last few days even in the Carolinas but luckily the Fujiwara effect actually did something differently where Umberto is actually moving much faster and stronger off to the north and so Imelda is naturally going to be attracted to that and that is going to basically cause Imelda to move out to sea with Umberto so they're going to be kind of holding hands throughout Wednesday and Thursday and then by Friday I do think Umberto is going to stretch out and it's basically going to race off to the northeast but generally speaking by Thursday and Friday we could actually just see a really intense area of low pressure across all of the central and northern Atlantic Ocean so pretty fascinating weather stuff there and then Imelda will finally spool it off from Umberto by about Friday and Saturday, and that'll be the end of their relationship. And then eventually, as we go into the following week across the tropics, I'm not really seeing many signs of anything too significant. Again, there's not really a whole lot of signs that we're going to see anything beyond Imelda or Umberto as of right now. That could change. But I do want to mention that there is a low chance that we could see something tropical develop in the Gulf as we go into this weekend. And we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. And once again, fantastic news. Really not that many impacts expected in the United States out of Imelda. We end up seeing some of the outer bands reach for East 
Eastern Florida last night. Some gusty winds as well, but by no means anything was tropical. But we will continue to see a little bit more rainfall this morning and into the early afternoon across the Carolinas in Virginia. That is from some of the healthy outflow that is coming from Imelda. So that'll kind of just spur up some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. But generally speaking, no tornadoes, no heavy rainfall that'll lead to really significant flooding. So again, great news across the board that Imelda is moving away from the country. Now, beyond Imelda and Umberto, we are going to continue to see a fairly quiet weather pattern for the lower 48 as we go through Friday. But by Saturday and into Sunday, this is a time frame where the weather is going to pick up a little bit. On Saturday, there is going to be some convection back over in the Gulf, and this could actually form into something very weak when it comes to a tropical system. This is right beneath a high pressure system that will be over in the mid-Atlantic region. So if something were to form, it would literally crash right up into the Gulf Coast. Now, I don't think anything significant is going to happen here, and the odds of actual tropical development are pretty low. But early Sunday, the GFS model does have a very weak low pressure system forming near Louisiana. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. At the minimum, if something were to form, localized flooding would be on the table there. But again, it would be a very weak system overall. We're also going to be watching a pretty intense low pressure system moving over the Rockies on Saturday. This could bring the return of some severe weather on Saturday or Sunday across the Central Plains and back into the Midwest. Right now, the GFS model does not hint at very much storm activity coming out of this other than just high winds, which would be from very tight isobars here. So very tight pressure gradient, essentially boosting the wind potential here across the board from Minnesota all the way back over into Texas and even Oklahoma. Eventually, by early next week, the weather once again will become quiet again, high pressure dominating across the Great Lakes and also through the Northeast. As of now, do not see any signs of major snowfall or cold weather on the horizon. It looks like it'll be a pretty nice next seven to 10 days. As we get closer to the middle of October, though, things could definitely change from there. If you're a fan of the cold weather, you're not going to be a fan of the next seven days. Really warm weather is going to continue across the country, especially in the Great Plains in the Midwest. This is what it looks like on Thursday. These are your temperature anomalies indicating above average temperatures across much of the central U.S. West Coast is a different story, slightly below average temperatures, and a little backdoor cold air will be moving in across the northeast and even back through Florida. So the entire eastern seaboard is going to be dealing with below average temperatures on Thursday and early Friday. And then by the weekend, warm weather continues across the Midwest, a little bit of cooler weather in the northern plains. And then by the middle of next week, that warm weather is going to build once again across the Great Plains. So heat wave is going to continue here into early October. So here's what the high temperatures look like over the next few days, beginning with Wednesday. Most areas in the Great Plains in the 80s and 90s. Look at the Northeast, only in the 50s for high temperatures in most areas and low 60s. Beautiful fall day across the Northeast. And then as we go into Thursday, temperatures only in the 50s once again across the Northeast. Same thing basically across the board in the Great Plains. And then by Friday into Saturday, the temperatures will be making their peak essentially for the entire week. As Saturday, we are expecting high temperatures as high as the low 90s across the Dakotas and Minnesota, Michigan, and even across Indiana. High temperatures in the 80s and perhaps low 90s, which is not something you see very often for this time of the year. Not seeing really many signs of, again, snow or even cold blasts on the horizon. And no signs of that as of right now. But if anything does change, we will be the first to let you know. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Our next video will likely be tomorrow or Thursday. It'll be one of those two days. And then after that, we're probably going to go back to every other day video uploads unless the weather gets really active again. So make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates and we'll see you guys all again in the next video.